Welcome back to the networking class. So we have covered some of the networking tools. We are yet to cover some of the important networking tools. The networking tools which are yet to cover is Traceroute, Netstat and NSLOOKUP. So Traceroute, as we have given a description here, what does Traceroute do? Traceroute works like it traces the number of hops or through number of the connections which it has to undergo from your computer to the destination computer. So the destination computer it may be any computer it may be a computer which is next to you or it may be a computer which is there uh, externally or in internet or anywhere else. So if you see here we have given an example of trace route how you do it on a Windows host that is Windows is Windows host is Windows computer an operating system which has a computer which has operating system Windows so let's do that now so click on start and go to command prompt we have the command prompt which is opened here and we'll click or we'll type trace tracer and we'll try doing a trace or num to find the number of hops from our computer to any destination address that is we'll try it on internet now and my computer is connected to internet so we'll just try google.com so when we have tried to do a trace out from our computer to the destination address that is the google.com so you can see the number of hops or the number of jumps it takes to connect to google.com what do you mean by the number of jumps the number of jumps is through how many connections it has to undergo and then connect to the google.com so this is the one 192.168.1.1 is the gateway of my computer that is my router or you can just consider this as the computer IP address which we have on our computer and the destination is google.com which has an IP address as 74.125.127.100 so in between you have these many devices which are connected so we do not know these devices has all the devices has IP address so it may be routers it may be computers or it may be firewalls in between the source to destination so we have one two three and up to 13 hops from our computer to the destination computer that is a destination server google.com so it, it creates a 13 hops and it has found a trace so it has to jump 13 jumps from our computer to the destination computer so how does it jump let us take an example here the computer IP address my computer the router through which my computer is connected the router IP address is 192.168.1.1 so my computer let us consider this the computer IP address which I have and this is my computer or my network address so from my network address it has taken to the destination address that is my internet service provider so that is 117.192.192.1 then it has gone through some other firewall or it might be some other router and then it has reached finally google.com server so this is how it happens so that's how the trace route works in windows so we have even specified how does it work in Linux computers so we have a separate command called as trace route and we have to specify the destination as google.com the destination need not need to be uh, a name resolution address like google.com yahoo.com or any other uh, web server it can also be a computer which is next to you an IP address of the computer which is next to you or an IP address which is in your friend's house but that should be a address which is available for you and it should link to your computer to do a 
trace route checkup okay that's great so we have learned about trace route so let's go ahead and pick up the next tool so the next tool which we have is netstat so the netstat provides a different or a number of information so the number of information what it provides is it provides the port number let us take I try to connect to an external host a computer which is next to me or a computer like google.com server or yahoo.com server so it connects to a port let us take an example here we use different port numbers so if I am trying to connect to a web server a web server is uh, google.com is a web server so if I'm trying to connect to a google.com web server so it connects through a port number called as port 80 so port 80 is accessible by the web servers then we have connection information so what type of connection information is it an established connection is an or is it disconnected so you'll get that information and what type of protocol is being used is it using TCP or any other protocol so let's just check now by doing a netstat so we'll just do a netstat and netstat works the same way even in any other computer also it might be a computer which has Linux operating system or it might be any computer which has any other operating system globally it works the same so let's try with netstat and hit enter so if you just put a netstat and hit enter it gives it gives so many information so here if you see so the protocol which is used is TCP and it has not resolved the address so the host name our computers name is unix a800e03a so we have just saw before in the previous classes how do you find the host name the name of our computer so the local address is our computer and what is the port number it is using it is using 1088 port and the foreign address the to the computer to which it is connected is 67101475 52 and that's particular that is the name resolution is snfcasy.dynamic.covet.net so this is the particular computer it connected to the server it connected to and with the port is 25348 and the type of connection it is still established and still it is connected so it's still we are connected to that particular host and here so we ha it has been it so we can see so many connections from our computer to the destination computer through which we have connected okay so that that gives a complete information about what port what is the IP at what is the local computer through which we are connecting and what is the foreign computer to which we are connecting what is the name of our computer that is here and what is the type of connection it is established what is the protocol we use it is TCP so you find all this information in netstat a very important tool so we'll just do netstat and we use an n option so that we do not want this local addresses we just want a direct IP address so if we just to a dash n option if we use a dash n option instead of using the name it will use the IP address so this is our IP address this is the foreign address to which we are connected this is the port number the type of the what is the state present status is it is established the connection if you see there is a different state here so still we are waiting to establish a connection time wait this means still we are waiting for to get connected okay so that is about netstat and netstat dash n that's great so here we have put in some notes so netstat provides the port number connection information protocol used and the remote host information the remote host information means the foreign address to which we are connecting that that's what we we mean by remote host so let us check up the next um, networking tool that is NSLOOKUP so NSLOOKUP is used for to resolve the name so let us take an example now I want to get an IP address for google.com to which I am connecting so how many servers that does google.com has so let's do an NS lookup here and find out that information so I'll say NS lookup space and we'll do it as google.com so 
so if you see here so it has our computer the server is unknown so we do we the we do not have any name which has been spec specified for our server because the address is been assigned through a router an ISP router it doesn't have a name which is specified for our router so it says non authoritative address but the address to which we try to do a lookup is google.com that's the information here and the address to which it is connected is so we, there is three IP addresses to which the google.com can be connected it is 74.125.4500 and it is 6700 and it is 127.100 so to any of these address if you just open a browser and just paste this there and type in so you should get google.com so let's try that So what's the IP address? So we'll put in 74 dot. So we already have an address here. So do you see it? Yeah. So in the previous class we had already checked. So we have put in the same address. So now we can see Google is opening up. So this is a Google server. So if you just change it, let us change it to 125 is the common one so it was it had 45 now let us try it with 67 once again it's it connects to the same server so let's try with the last number that is 127 it connects back to the same server so there is three IP addresses or there is three network card connected to the server basically and there is three IP addresses which is assigned to only google.com a web server which connects through port 80 okay and this is how it works so why only google.com let's try with some other website so let's say NS lookup space so we'll do it for uh, cooltoad.com yes so we have got back the address so let's open the browser let's check it's 204 dot 101.246.228 hit enter so do you see we have cool toad opening so this resolves the IP address into the name or name into the IP address so this is what the information you can get out of NS that is NS lookup NS is naming service lookup okay so we have an example here which is defined and the same example goes with uh, even Linux computers the Linux the host which has Linux okay and the same thing goes with Windows here that status common so the trace route is there so by this we'll end this class so we will continue with some more tools